pandemic beginning, implementing bio abilities and ID 2020, facial recognition, selling coke and dope ain't the business, nope, forget trapping the wit and ball the business, yep, hey. true peace, Ken's May 22nd, 2020, and I'm back at y'all with another one, so if you're trying to stay ahead of the game, peep the screen. MasterCard joins ID2020 Alliance to advance digital identity as a fundamental human right. That's the headline for Peter Slain. MasterCard has joined the ID2020 Alliance to further the organization's collaborative efforts on user-managed, privacy-protected, and portable digital identity solutions. The ID2020 Alliance was launched in 2016 as a global public-private partnership bringing together stakeholders to advocate for, fund, and implement projects, provide technical support, and certify identity solutions as best in class. The ultimate goal is to enable all people globally to exercise their basic human rights and become economically empowered. Digital identity can be a powerful force multiplier to enhance social and economic opportunities for all people, says ID2020 Executive Director Dakota Gruana. But to fully realize that potential governments, technology companies, financial institutions, and civil societies must collaborate, we are delighted to welcome MasterCard to the ID2020 Alliance and apply their commitment to privacy protecting user-centric digital identity. Guana recently composed an argument that immunity certificates would need to alleviate privacy concerns by leveraging biometrics for the Edmund J. Safra Center for Ethics at Harvard University. The, organi the organization notes the increased importance of digital identity for people adapting to the COVID-19 pandemic and the need to make sure any repurposing of digital identity technology for digital health certificates or other recovery measures to protect individual privacy. We share the belief with ID2020 that digital identity is a fundamental human right that each individual has control over. That digital identity is a crucial step towards financial inclusion and to building a world where technology empowers, enables, and protects everyone states IJ Bahala, president of cyber and intelligence at MasterCard. We must work together to establish consistency and common standards across the globe that can make this a reality, addressing real challenges faced by people every day and sparking continued innovations. Bahala contributed a guest post to biometric update earlier this week on how new wave biometrics are helping more identity verification beyond passwords. MasterCard has been increasingly focused on expanding its focus on fintech and biometrics and has also been working with partners on supporting payments with gate or facial biometrics.